Hello and welcome to the new and improved rebooted reboot of the Punatic Punk Rock Podcast name pending. Uh, great name, uh, name pending uh, as always. And you, you know how uh, the modern age is really, they're loving their reboots. Figured we'd reboot this one. Yeah, I mean, name pending. It's always, always should be name pending. That's punk rock anarchy right there. Having a name, having a structured name without the ability to change in the future, that's authoritarian as fuck. So, name pending always. I am your host, the once and future General Secretary, Shits Leopold. With me, we have the great Dr. Deadbeat. Uh, How are you doing, Doctor? Uh, being a deadbeat and, uh, of course, being the definitely for real, no shits medical professional I am. A real doctor uh, with no quotations. Well, you heard it here first. Well, probably not first. He's probably told you millions of times before he does surgery on you. He tells himself that in the mirror every day, too. I am a doctor. With you just that, you got to say it with conviction. <laughs> with that, we'll jump right into the music. This is Pepper with No Control. I thought I'd never be thinking Too many drugs dropped into my mouth Looking for something new But I end up drinking Ignore the warnings on the shore I'll take my chance when into danger I want to taste life more and more But you need a little risk for the perfect mixture This is just Asian under no control Broadcasting for you to let go Track stayed and how you're labeled Holding on to a phone on hold While I'm told to wait for the next operator I wanna taste life uncontrolled Oh no, here I go, I hope to see you later This is your station under no control Pepper with No Control, a song we've both heard thousands of times. Yeah, I've heard that album through front to back so many times. It's been on my, my music thing for ages at this point. Yeah, it, honestly, not since I've been working on with this project of collecting a bunch of Hawaiian rock and roll have I even gotten much into Pepper. And, you know, if they put out a best hit, it'd be a goddamn good album. They would have one solid all the way full throughout. <laughs> yeah. 
And it'll be 20 songs. 20 songs. It'd be a good album. It's a first for Pepper. Yeah. Yeah, that would be solid. I would really enjoy it. Like I I dig maybe about an album worth of their whole discography. <laughs> you know, even though they do commit a bunch of lyrical sins, I think this song uh, talking about no, thinking about thinking about thinking. Uh <laughs> it's fun to say. So I, I strike them down, but I also give them a thumbs up. They're fun. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's a sin. It's like, you know, stealing bread from the family, you know. It's it's a bad thing you did, but you did it for a good enough reason, you know, forgivable. Yeah. And I like it. It's kind of a uh, mantra of our my new project. Well, not my new project, a project I've been working on for ages, slowly, baby steps. I mean, like caterpillar, like ant baby steps. <laughs> but I've been working on it, and uh, I we got an internet radio station up now um, on Azure cast. I'm trying to work with that. Uh, we got the alternative radio station and the punk rock radio station, a lot of overlap in the songs, but you know, one, you won't get any hip hop and the other, you won't get any uh, music that makes your dad angry. What about your mom? Will it make your mom angry? It'll make your mom angry. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> Especially my mom. Uh, but all music made in Hawaii or at one time in Hawaii. <laughs> there's a few exceptions I've made. I, I really wanted to have um, Ian. Uh, what's his band? Uh, old Habits? No, no, no. Ian. Uh, the guy who slept oh, on our garage. In our garage. Oh, oh uh, was it? Uh, not, not Ian. It was uh, Pete. Pete, Pete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pete, Pete, Pete Irving, guy's a stand-up dude. Uh, he'll do your dishes and steal a smoke from you, but he carries magic cards in his backpack, and he's such a fantastic like uh, like bluegrass player and blues player. He's yeah. great, and he's technically not from Hawaii or makes his music mainly in Hawaii, but he comes here quite often, plays a few shows, and he slept on the floor of our garage when we offered him. All kinds of sleeping things. So yeah, as far as I know, couches, he had beds. <laughs> he but he chose the floor. <laughs> as far as I care, he's local. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Never, never, uh, never had a bad utterance about the guy. Great guy, great musician. You know, definitely check him out if you ever can. You know, if you're listening for kind of that vibe. And speaking of local. Me and Dr. Deadbeat here, we come from a certain place on the Big Island, a certain community yeah. called Puna, but not just Puna. Okay, there, there are three Punas, right? There's Upper Puna that you have to go through Keao and go up to Volcano. There's, I don't know, was Mid Puna or something on the highway between Keao and Pahoa. And then there's you know, Lower Puna. Gentrified Puna, basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then there's Lower Puna, which often gets attacked by Pele. <laughs> Pele seems to be mad at the place, oh, but right. also blesses the place <laughs> with a very. Auntie Pele doesn't like. Uh, she doesn't like to have uh, too many people around, so every <laughs> so often she uh, she decides to kind of wipe it out a little bit. And our relationship to Pele is a purely logical one, like. Every day, the mountain is a fickle mountain and can destroy your home at any point. That is a god. I don't know what religion you're from, secular or, or super communist. That is a god that controls your everyday life. <laughs> yeah, you just you always live kind of ready, ready to go. Every 10, 15 years, something new is going to get made and uh something you really liked is gonna go away <laughs> yep and you have no control it controls you mm -hmm. uh, uh so Pahoa got spared a few years back yeah barely <laughs> by like what a half mile <laughs> yeah it stopped right before the road and everybody like really freaked out because of cutting off Paho. it was already some parts of Puna is Mad Max, but if you cut it off from the rest of civilization, it's just going to all go Mad Max. 
Oh, absolutely. That place would have descended into increasingly more chaotic terms if the lava had just crossed the highway. But it would even be just right over it. <laughs> oh, it would be. It would be super interesting that would that would mean you'd have to bring like a documentary crew in there to kind of see what happens it would create its own its own like society (laughs) separate from the rest of the island because lower puna is pahoa downward has its own very unique culture and uh way of Way of interacting with others. How do I say? <laughs> uh, especially those down on Not Red Road. <laughs> and oh, is Red Road still around after the uh, the last flow? Yeah, Red Road still around. It's not as it go all. It still goes from Kalapana to Pohiki. Po- Pohiki's half mm-hmm. on, and uh, they no longer have the Pohiki Road. But you can access it the other way around, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so Red Road's still there. It's still got all the hippies from Kalapana, uh, Kahana, and Seaview. And it's that area in particular we're talking about today. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's play a song, song about our goddess Pele. This is The Flow with Pele. <laughs> Smoking the breeze, heading for the ocean. 
Oh, that sounds cool. I fucking dig that. Dug that. Yeah, it's a, it, it's fun. Uh, it yeah. did encapsulate a lot of like, you know, stubborn Puna vibes about <laughs> the volcano. <laughs> yeah, we live with Pele. She gonna take our home. We gonna stay right here. <laughs> yep, that's the thing. Like Pele's gonna come for it, no matter what you do. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, our next song. Yeah, we've been talking about Nako. I think that might have been recorded. I, I'll cut and paste whatever we need to do. Oh, that yeah, was a good conversation <laughs> about Nako. Uh, let's listen to one of his songs. <laughs> and then we could get real angry with the guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, no. Actually, his songs are... I hate to say it, a lot of the songs are pretty good. Yeah. You know, a lot of good production in these, this music. No, no, like his him and his band are like solid musicians. It's, yeah, it's it's kind of unfortunate the rest of his band is lumped in with him too sometimes. Yeah, no, I I, I would have never done like my name and then the band name. Yeah, that's like such a dick move. Like it just as a general thing, it's like because that's that's like putting yourself in front of your band and you you should be a unit, a cohesive, equal unit. No, I. Uh, it, for the longest time, I couldn't find, like, I, I knew he was a band here. I knew I needed to collect his stuff, but I couldn't find his stuff because I was just looking for medicine for the people. And it's like, oh, it's Nako and the medicine for the people. And then I'll try to find a band camp. He's like, okay, he's not on the Hawaiian, Hawaii things. No, he's listed in Portland, which confused oh. me. I was like, did he move to Portland? No, he's just from Portland, and he still lives here, but it's tagged under Portland. And so I don't know. Um, whoever's in charge of that, please change that. It's really fucking annoying. Although I, I we'll get to it though. <laughs> okay, we'll get to it. But let's listen to one of his songs. Uh, folk rock, hip hop, some reggae. It it perfectly encapsulates a lot of like music around Lower Puna and just the. Oh and, yeah, yeah. And like, just some of the weirdest. Like, I grew up around there. You did too. Yeah, yeah. I grew but up uh, like, I don't know. I mean, my mom was a full blown hippie for a while. And so I mm-hmm. made my way around there a lot. And uh, I would have yeah, actually, uh, I would have been drawn in if they didn't have so many rules. <laughs> yeah, it's so strange, like that, that hippies have all these rules. You know, they they wanna they they wanna be these like these free spirits, but there's like so many ways that the community kind of like splits and ostracizes itself based on like tastes and consumption of like of types of media and medicine and all ways of living. It's it's very strange, you know. Yeah, and I agree a lot with like peace and love and helping nature and, and living in a very sustainable life, but it just seemed like living down there was no electricity and more rules. And right, right. <laughs> it's a uh, that was tough. Like I, I have a ton of hippie friends, and you know, I swing in those circles sometimes. You know, like where I know all those people, but at the same time, like I think I'm diametrically opposed. Not, not even so much in a lot of like their beliefs. Like I, I agree in like like love and forgiveness, and uh, yeah, that you like you said. Uh, you know, trying to live in harmony with nature as best as you can. But at the same time, there's so many almost like closed-minded restrictions about like what you are really free to do mm-hmm. that I just can't quite vibe with, you know, as like a, as like a living situation, you know, live and let live, mind you, but not, not my way of living, unfortunately. Yeah. And, you know, if I could get past those hurdles, I think I'd enjoy it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I think so, too. Especially you, you're like a Luddite sometimes. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, we all have... And that's also one of my main problems, but it's just the name medicine for the people. People would say, like, you know, pot is the medicine for the people. Open your eyes, maybe LSD. Open your eyes and see. Oh. Uh, there's a lot of, like, drug uh, culture down there that was, you know, supposed to be liberating and enlightening, and it was just people getting mm-hmm. high. Yeah, yeah. There's that. 
there's always that that idea that like you take you take this thing this herb that will make you hallucinate and suddenly you're you're free and you're you know you're expanding your mind your mind sometimes you just want to get caught up okay so full disclosure to everybody yeah. uh we were me and the doctor here we're we're in a band together uh came from basically the same area and our, our band Went name the same high school had something to do <laughs> with medicine for the people could you explain what how the name step on the people came into be it is a lot of <laughs> there was a lot of uh discussion we kind of all came to it a little bit differently after a long time of pitching band names in a garage uh but okay d- full disclosure here the doctor <laughs> does not like nako very much cuz nako has uh, let's say allegedly here been a dickhead to me <laughs> uh i played an open mic night at a uh, a bar that served kava a kava bar if you will and at this kava bar i played a couple of songs it was maybe a few months into playing guitar so i'm still pretty fresh to it i'm obviously not going to sound the best and uh, i put in what i would consider a d plus performance uh vocally maybe worse than that but guitar wise a d plus performance and uh, that's where i actually met nako bear uh nako who i actually kind of looked up to at the time uh came up to me and i was very honored i was like i'm going to talk to somebody that like i, I listened to some of the music their big name around here you know kind of runs in the same groups uh told me that guitar is probably not my instrument uh, which was devastating <laughs> especially the first cut time you're performing really live in front of people uh so uh, this is an open mic i mean like yeah what the fuck you, you just want to knock people uh, down yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, he, he was very, you know, allegedly very full of himself uh, and kind of was lording over his status as like a, a professional musician over a lot of the amateurs there at the open mic. But it's an open mic, you know, you get all kinds. You sort of expect that. Unfortunately, you know, I, I brought up this, uh, this interaction with a few friends who uh, will not be named to uh, maintain their privacy. You know, the you know, allegedly... These are stories that they gave me. Uh, a, a female uh, musician. She's a fantastic guitarist and a singer, songwriter. Uh, Nako was none too pleased that she was playing a guitar because allegedly women, women should only be singers, backup singers, primarily, to, uh, to Nako, allegedly. And at a, at, a, at, a, at a house party around that same time period, another friend uh, had to save him from getting uh, his ass beat, you know, the technical term, uh, because he was very, very full of himself, allegedly. <laughs> uh, so Nako has a very strange uh, sort of place in the music community in Hawaii and uh, a reaction to the, the medicine for the people name became a step on the people <laughs> yeah i i like the name because i always hated the term medicine for the people I, it's like soma it's like brave new world just knock the people out and what the fuck i and i like the idea of uh, they got to be stepped on to move they got to need to be pushed yeah, uh, yeah they don't need to you can't just sedate the people yeah they need to see the whore and not just live through it. Uh, so I loved it in that term. And that was my relationship with it. But you had a much bigger, deeper relationship with Nako. And it totally, it just solidified the name. And it's a good name. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a solid name, honestly. I think it, especially because it got a lot of, uh, especially early on, though, like a lot of buzzer. We were like, do you know medicine for the people? And then we're like, step on the people. And people would sometimes confuse the two, <laughs> which was fantastic because you yes, get hippies at the wrong show. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is our scene, too. We grew up around these hippies, all these hippie shows, reggae, the folk. 
and this is our music, and this is Step on the People with Duct Tape Saviors. to it again a couple times the ending is just just beautiful <laughs> a lot of things seem clumsy especially at the beginning and the... i never quite like the recording i never quite dug uh just because of the beginning but uh, the yeah. end but the end is just it, magic yeah that was that was one of those takes that like we were having a rough time getting all those takes in and then uh, the ending came together on that one. And sometimes you're like, do we really have more time right now to take more takes for this? So we just got to pick the best out of like 30 or 40 takes. And that was just the one. Yeah. But it is real rough to start. I like, uh, I'd love to sit down and re-record some of the, some of the old stuff someday, you know? Yeah. That'd be cool. Where we played, there wasn't much, um, well, there was a certain sound you needed to play to really get people's attention. And it wasn't our sound. <laughs> it was definitely not our sound. You know, it, it, there's, there's hints of that sound in there sometimes, you know, mm-hmm. you, especially that last can't song. really, that, that was, yeah, yeah. I yeah. do something bit reggae. <laughs> it was uh, fun to do, you know, and it, it kind of comes naturally almost like having grown up around it all, yeah, all our lives. I mean, the bomb baby has that reggae bit. <laughs> it's like, that fits, but why? <laughs> uh, but our our bassist once played in another reggae band. Uh, he played in the Selassieites. Yeah, yeah, I remember the Selassieites. He played there for 
I don't remember, like six months almost. Yeah. With them. And uh, they're not bad. And so I have them on this playlist to more justify and expand upon this vision that is Puna. Uh, this is Fire Rock by the Slossiites. Set your mind free Military occupation In a hypocrisy But what you gonna do When fire come With a wicked man run and hide But just like this rock I said you'll find the fire inside And it's the fire that purifies It's the fire that purifies You on fire rock Fire rock The burning just don't fire stop fire 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 Yes, fire rock, fire rock, fire rock Fire 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 running Now when you're on this fire rock Said you got to be humble With respect to the culture And love for the land Cause if you come with heartiness You sure enough gon' stumble Cause out here we strive for equality for every man And woman, yeah Colonial minds best to flee here With your lies and your corporate ties I and I shall no longer be hypnotized But in Aloha we shall abide In Aloha we shall abide Here on fire rock Fire rock, fire rock Fire rock, fire rock Where the burning just don't fire stop rock, Fire rock, fire rock, fire rock Yes, fire rock, fire rock, fire rock Fire rock, fire rock, fire rock Spirit of Pele just don't fire stop rock, rock. Cause fire it gon' blaze Give thanks and praise to the ancient of days Reach higher heights when the masses act so crazy I gon' burn down all their wicked way Blaze up the fire Cause fire it gon' run In the middle of the Pacific Madam Pele a bun Blaze up the fire I a chill your kingdom come And see I and I burn out in the pit before we done Blaze up the fire Cause fire it gon' come Okay, I feel like we're burning like the sun Blaze up the fire, cause the fire run red hot To the ocean from the mountainside Fire don't stop, this is fire rock Fire rock, fire rock Where the burning just don't stop Yes, fire rock, fire rock, fire rock Spirit to pale, it just don't stop This newest, blackest earth Watching creation birth Wondering if everyone can see what it's really worth So blessed upon the earth So blessed upon the earth Is fire rock, fire rock, fire rock Where the burning just don't stop Yes, fire rock, fire rock, fire rock, fire fire rock, fire 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 f
fire rub, fire rub, fire rub, fire rub. The burning just don't fire stop. Rub, fire rub, fire rub. And so you fire better rub, watch, rub, better rub, watch, rub, better rub, watch. Rub, you better watch the way you fire rub, fire rub, fire rub. Sorry that you got that on recording. I'll just delete it. <laughs> I have that power. I am the god. You're essentially god of the podcast. Yeah. This is the godcast. I actually heard a, a bunch of the stuff they played. And I, I, I like this song a lot, actually. Yeah. Uh, no, I was surprised. I like a lot of this album. Uh, like I said, I don't really care for much for Jawain, but this seems like the most um this genuine Hawaiian like reggae Hawaiian mixture I could think of uh, come across yeah especially since it's not like the standard kind of love Hawaiian love song no no you know, it's more they... Rasta than that yeah yeah it's, it's really cool uh and mixed with like Hawaiian myth and the like it's great um all right but and Puna there's also, like you said, not just rules, but weird beliefs that go around, weird uh, assumptions, and sometimes dogmas that oh yeah, well. rule the place. Uh, there's a lot of new age belief, uh, weird ascended masters. Uh, have you ever read of uh, Helena Blavatsky? No, I haven't. Uh, you should look her up. She's basically... If you read even a little bit about her, you'll go like half of these new age belief hippie things come directly from her. <laughs> like the fact that, you know, this Zen master is all like Buddha, Jesus, Muhammad. Uh, all of them were great masters that should be learned from and can be talked to in a spiritual. It's weird. And you'll, if you learn about it, you'll start seeing her shit all over the place. Uh, it was quite eye-opening when I learned about her because she is everywhere. No. That's crazy that someone uh, can, can in one single person can influence so much of like kind of the core beliefs of like a whole like region. The world. Uh, the world, like, yeah. I've, I, there are so I've, many I've, different new age that. cults that are based on her beliefs her i've belief heard that system. term ascended masters yeah uh you know the rapper bliss yeah i know bliss yeah her group uh the ascended masters and based off of that that's, that's such an interesting place to pull like uh pull influence yeah well uh tell me about bliss you've met her i haven't uh tell me what you know actually i don't think uh we've had much conversation to be honest. Like mm. we just kind of like rolled in some of the same circles. We we've, we've, we've introduced ourselves and that was really the, the entirety of our interaction for the most part. Bliss was busy, popular, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, I bet. Uh, uh, she's pretty, she's a fa fairly good rapper and she, she has a message, Oh yeah, but, but it's also coded in all this, this, uh, like Calipana conspiracy, stuff and uh i have the problem with this next song and that i'm not sure i should play it on the radio for one reason and one reason only and uh you'll probably hear it when it comes up but this is a message to the ill by bliss
for the wicked before I lose transmission Satellites might decode it and then try to dismiss it It's sad to say the least, but most wouldn't listen Call me liar, call me heathen while they snatch up your riches You're not a human, you're just cattle, boy and roam in the pen Send you to the slaughterhouse, wise health, let us in Partners in the brotherhood, you devils created sin Use celebrities as gold caps to get you to worship them Use the owl as your mascot, trying to find a way to pass God But your powers wouldn't last long, corporate slaves to the cash crop You bleed us to the last drop, then send us to the grass Slowly killing my seed, steady bringing disease If not physically, then mentally, plaguing the seas Not 33 they take it to the 90 degrees Death wish to your flesh, it's a royal decree British ain't a culture, it's a contract of man Sell you all the lies in the world to kill off Pakistan Find Marisol in your vaccines to kill off your children And Bill Gates thwarting the plan while you pay for the mission Fluoride is in the water to keep you dumb and sterile Same shit that's in Prozac, our planet's in peril They don't want a cure for cancer, they just want you to die Think they care about us, people wake up, it's all a lie The great deception and oppression, master slave dialectics and aliens divide and conquer, they just try to misdirect And I'm reflecting on my path, cause it's a road less traveled Just follow the money and watch the curtains unravel Don't let the pagans fool you Cause they worship cabal Popes don't follow the bible They don't love God at all The thirst for power's evil The wolves in sheep's clothing Revelations is real Cause they carrying out the notion Genocide of the masses It's us versus them Think I'm kidding? Check the Georgia Guidestones 500 million It's not a conspiracy theory It's written in blood Sacrifices in the war zones Over oil and drugs Except the altar's now a battlefield Covered in slugs Next thing you know The illness is on monkeys and bugs They almost had us with the plague But we had to survive Funny how it was Dr. Nostradamus Who prophesied It ain't one but many Antichrist demons lurk on every channel Sell your soul to that device And if you trust in God Then why is the pyramid on the dollar bill And symbols on corporate logos And magic sigils I see it all unfolding Thanks to inbred reptilians This matrix is all fixed To kill off civilians And in the end the devils will lose, just look for the clues Be strong, my brethren, and don't let them confuse you You know who you should pray to, spread the message worldwide And know the true God will save you, don't let them enslave you We know who made you So there was a lot there, but there's only one yeah. thing There's a lot of nonsense there, but there's only one bit of nonsense that makes me want to not play them. What is that? I mean, there's some stuff there. There's there's a lot of stuff there. there there's there's some uh, there's some anti-vax shit in the time of uh, real bad COVID. There's some anti-Semitic stuff about the the cabal of uh, <laughs> of uh, that's going on there. There's a uh, there's a lot to unpack. A lot to unpack, but you know the cabal thing that could be saying. You know, and they don't have to be talking about the Jews, but yeah, yeah they it could is be a dog whistle. talking about kind of the vague Illuminata. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah the, the dog whistle there is like the uh, kind but, of kind of inherent. There's like a you know, it's geez, a great man. flow. It's an interesting song, and I would play it if it weren't for the vaccine bit. Uh, right, it's like I don't even want to touch that. Like one way or another, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> like, it was like, well, what's your opinion on uh, mandates? And it's, my opinion is I want to stay hundred feet away from it. I don't want to touch that argument with a t- thousand foot pole. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'll one of those do arguments that there's. I'll do whatever. <laughs> um, but just like, I just. I just don't want. Yeah, that's the thing. It's there's no win in that argument. On e- either way, you you try to do it. Once you have it, you're gonna get that backlash, especially coming from like Lower Puna, where a lot of people are incredibly anti-Western medicine, just in general as like a mm-hmm. concept. Yeah, anti-vax. And a lot of this beliefs in that song are beliefs held by many people in Lower Puna. Oh yeah, absolutely. A lot of people, the the kind of conspiracy, you, well, like you referred to it, the Kalapana conspiracy minded, you know. Yeah. 
Um, he's like they 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 kind of create a vacuum because there's such an isolation and then they they echo amongst each other you know yeah and that being said that's one thing i'm willing to not play a song for for. now i think that's fair with medicine for the people uh you would agree that having a radio station without them in Lower Puna would be missing a huge chunk of the scene and culture. Yeah, yeah, it would be it would be incomplete, unfortunately, because it's such a such a reflection of like of the kind of Lower Puna culture. It's such a such a product of it. All right, okay. We'll listen to this next song, and then I'll tell you, and then we'll discuss what we'll discuss. All right. <laughs> All right, this is On the Verge by Nako and Medicine for the People. It's not a bad song, is it? No, honestly, uh, On the Verge is a solid song. I actually dig that song. It's just, once again, it's, it's, it's very difficult. It's such a, um, but no, the song is good. Like, it's hard for me to say, say anything. Like, Regardless of my feelings of Nako, the dude's talented. The On the Verge is a fucking good song. And it's very much, very much lower Puna kind of a whole, That sound. Yeah. And uh Okay. <laughs> so um a lot of his concerts lately have been canceled for uh well, they've been canceled over uh, sexual allegations. You don't say? Uh, no, uh, specifically underage fondling, sexual grooming, and sexual abuse and intimidation. Jesus fucking Christ. That is... Uh, yeah. That is, that's horrible? Like, I don't... Allegedly, well, again. <laughs> alleged. They're, they're, we have to say allegedly, obviously. Yeah, because there's these are all accusations, but yeah. you know, I, I usually believe the women. Yeah, no, like honestly, and like, these are multiple if, accusations. If, you know, multiple women are coming out with credible accounts. Then I'm I'm very much inclined to believe them over over Nako, who does allegedly have a history of bad behavior socially. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but Jesus, that is, uh, I thought he was just a jerk, but to, you know, take advantage of women allegedly like that is horrible, especially, especially minors with, with the grooming allegations. Yeah. Uh, like they, you know, these are fans who would be looking up to the, to him who, who would go to a show. And that is really, that's really a complete, like abuse of power, you know, in a position like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, he has responded in saying that, you know, only of the underage allocations are false, but he has apologized to some of the women. He says, his quote, I want to be very clear that it, that this is what I am apologizing for. In my past, I have been disrespectful <laughs> towards women in my life. Bear says in the video, I have been a liar. I have been a cheat. I have objectified them. I have betrayed them and I've centered my own agendas, agendas over theirs. That's an apology, but it doesn't quite get to. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to believe, but the accusations are very bad. And I don't know if I should ever play him on the radio. Honestly, like it may be one of those things that we have to kind of put the interests of uh, the people who were victims uh, put put that above, you know, completion's sake for for mu- for music. You know, music is wonderful, important, but I don't think we should be giving him power or you know or influence like that. If we, you know, if we, especially if these allegations turn out to be one hundred percent true, you know. Yeah, it's it's tough, you know. You you want to accurately, you know, 
but with Thalheim, Showing the culture a, of a place. It, it is a less accurate vision of what yeah. Pune is. Because even with the accusations, like thinking about it, that is also, you know, lower Pune has the highest concentration outside of Ka'u of sexual predators. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, so, it's very lawless out there. The, the cops don't come around. It's almost its own society. And a lot of people who have those, those tendencies or who have kind of gone like basically been on the the end of the people who do those things uh, yeah, was they, it, they move out there to be safe basically was it nanavale uh specifically built to house sexual convicts uh actually i'm not sure i i, I can't say i on heard that, that way. somewhere i but i can't confirm <laughs> yeah yeah but i mean it wouldn't surprise me to be honest you know in that regard a lot of people I know who are, you know, in trouble in general with the law move out to lower Pune, mm-hmm. you know, and that would be any type of crime, especially like people who commit like sexual crimes or of the, like, they would obviously move out that way because they know they can sort of escape. And there's sort of this insular culture of heavy drug use and sort of, uh, you know, the implication basically of people essentially using drugs to kind of uh, take advantage of others. Yeah. And it's, and a lot of young, young girls and boys get kind of pulled into that and uh, have oftentimes really, really bad experiences. You know, it's uh, with like kind of the, the sort of the hippie culture or like uh, the rave culture that also sprouts out there. Damn, that's really disappointing yeah that's and yeah I, I want them to not be true you know but again i believe the women yeah that's the and, thing like, uh and the way he talks about himself with the grooming allegations specifically like mm-hmm. i could see that he he often talks about himself like he's fucking jesus and yeah yeah and there's like a little a fucking, bit of an ego there he has a little cult of himself which you know mm. lower puna has definitely the, all the ingredients to make a cult i think i think there are some practicing cults out there there are definitely a bunch of practicing cults out there but the, the environment itself is, has all the ingredients of making cult figures and they definitely oh, made yeah, a cult absolutely. around nako yeah nako for many years had like this sort of like second coming vibe that like people would talk about him that way like you know Nako changed my life his music completely completely changed who I was and then they would kind of follow him almost like uh, people who were touring around with the Grateful Dead for many years you know the deadheads yeah uh who would just follow him place to place and it's so yeah that that and a lot of actually kind of uh younger girls who had just kind of gotten into the community got in through like listening to Nako stuff and then would go off the grid down to lower Puna. So yeah, the, those accusations seem very credible to me. And I think, I think very, very, I don't even know what to say here. I'm very, I'm shocked and angered and disappointed. And uh, I don't think an apology is enough here. Like, because he apologized, but I, it feels like he's tiptoeing around the issues and yeah. he's not doing anything to sort of try to make good about it. And it seems like he still wants to hide the worst parts of the allegations. Yeah. In order to kind of deem like, cause he, he has admitted to being disrespectful and he has admitted to, you know, using women essentially in this apology, like that is for the public to see. Damn it. That's real fucked up. Well, now that we know, we'll, let's examine some of the other bands that have come in the wake of Nako. We're definitely we're part of this cult menu, but they're different, and they might be. Uh, well, they're hopefully they're not allegedly child molesters. Yep, you know. <laughs> and so we'll pick among these new ones to take his place. Uh, and the, there's one we've seen before, um, to. One I've seen on shelves and I had to get for completion's sake. Which they're not bad. Uh, and one, I'm not quite sure where they're from. 
that they sound like they're in Lower Puna. Uh, next song is Elements by Aloka. <laughs> Yeah. 
I really hope we can find some uh, some music that fills the void in terms of like kind of. It, it's it's such a shame yeah. because like like uh, Nako was so influential and important and doing doing like having done all these things like it it damages the community that has grown up around you know the band and stuff it it's yeah. really all these it, other bands like even one of them and one of their songs name medicine for the people by name as an influence and yeah. like they didn't do anything wrong but now they're dirtied <laughs> by proxy. Right. association and the entire band yeah the entire band of medicine for the people is dirty by association with Nako, you know yeah like you know because at at best they were negligent and at worst they were you know complicit yeah and uh even the even the ones that like legitimately haven't done anything in in, in regards to that we're completely unaware of all this stuff like that's it's they still ate up like aided him you know Oh, they probably feel pretty, pretty fucking awful about it too. Considering, yeah, because you you create all this music and you you know, with good intention and and if somebody you know takes advantage of it to you know use it to use people, it's like so fucking horrible. And if they did nothing wrong, the rest of the band, I don't know, canceling all their music is also a fuck yeah. you to them as well. Yeah, 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 because they, they have a they have a livelihood and now they're. Now all, all those members are just like they can never receive they're not gonna receive royalties and payments and all supposed that to be another without not go getting money. There's supposed to be another album coming out from them soon. And uh, I, I don't know if that's gonna be dead on arrival. I I, I don't I wouldn't want to purchase it, like considering no, the allegations against Nako, because that would just like I feel I wouldn't want to throw money some in the of these albums now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like the stuff that we we own that already, like we can't unbuy them. We can't, you know, ungive him money. Yeah. No, his solo so album was trash. <laughs> oh yeah, no, like a lot of the strength of his stuff is compounded on his band because his band creates the the, the vibes, the the fusion of hip hop and reggae and like folk and stuff that that makes the band work. Mm-hmm. You know, that's not Nako. Nako is a solid lyricist, ultimately speaking, and a good singer. You know, but. And he has enough charisma and is up and his he, own he, ass. Uh, uh, yeah, he, he's got that front man thing. But but the thing is, he's not he's not really anything without his band. You know, he's his solo work is unimpressive as just from a straight artistic point. You know. Yeah. It's, I don't know. I I don't know what it, I don't know what his band really does from this point. Do they? I would honestly. If if I were them, like leave the band, rebrand as something else, find a new front man and write some new music and just go forward as best you can. But like Nako's gotta be fucking ditched and I hope there's some repercussions for like what he's done, you know? Yeah. Cause he's still gonna have that that star status, unfortunately, for people who don't believe the allegations. There, so. he, there's a fight online about the allegations. Between those who believe and those who defend them, uh, I don't know. I, I it's an issue I do, never wanted to touch. Yeah, uh, but it kind of has to because uh, yeah, the no. it's such an it's too important to the like the local community to not you know acknowledge and have to make that decision on you know the music you know yeah. And I wish I, I really hope someone they the rest of the band record this the good songs with a different yeah. lead singer. Yeah, that'd be that would be probably the best case scenario is like to record all these these new things with somebody somebody brand new and I not guess like it, until then the, I guess yeah. I'll be canceling Thanks. I'll be canceling all I, of my medicine for the people on the radio. Yeah. I think that's like morally kind of the right thing to do. It's just we can't like yeah, you can't keep giving you can't give the guy more influence and more power and it's not it's not worth even if we're we're like a small voice and like a huge thing, it's still like no yeah. no real exceptions to that is like you can't. 
I, I'm okay with playing music of like a guy who's like a jerk, but not the guy who like molested kids and like groped women and that's just fucked up. But then if we think about it, you know, the classic radio station is filled with people who are like 15 year old groupies yeah, and like groomed a bunch of people in the seventies and their songs are played all openly. You know, she was just 17, yeah. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah. We know what you mean. You're a pedophile. It's a, <laughs> but that shit's all over the radio and they don't get repercussions yeah. when they really should. And they, 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 they should. That's like, that's the thing. Well, like it's it's one thing at this I mean, point. Even like, the Beatles. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Especially Lennon, especially John Lennon himself. Like But does um, that mean we cut all the Beatles from the radio? Yeah, it's tough. It's like because you kind of the thing is if you play if you play them, they make money. Like, and it's it's fucking it, it's a tough line to walk. It's it's I wish it was as easy as like Michael Jackson at this point. Motherfucker's dead. Yeah. Like there's nothing to be done at this point. Like we could everybody's like that dude without that, him getting money. That dude, you're like that dude molested children. That dude was fucked up. And uh he makes nothing from this anymore, you know. Like and but with people who are still like living, it's much especially when they're they're they they they're influential. It's just like it's tough, but I think. I think the best thing we do is at least until like medicine for the people like sort of you know re records you know yeah there's stuff i think we shouldn't touch it like it's radioactive and it's bad and it's i don't know that's just i don't want to give Nako more money uh, especially that makes me feel real fucking dirty you know yeah no <laughs> like like i feel bad for the fucking album that i own from the fucking dude it's like <laughs> It's like fuck, man. Like, my money went into the pocket of a dude who used that money to like. Ah, oh, shit, man. It's, it's, ah, it's gross. I lo- I like that song a lot, and that was that was a really good like influence from like you can hear the influence from like Medicine for the People like for sure from on yeah. uh, on the the Aloka song, and it's it, it's good. It's a really solid song. Um, it's not but, like to... there's like. It's not at the same level of quality, but it's like that's the thing. They seem like they are they have been around as long. They have uh, and only that one album and three EPs, and uh, mm. yeah, they they have not been as, around as long. Yeah, hopefully they 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 grow as musicians and mm-hmm. continue working. You know, I, I don't think everyone has to be. No, sorry, I'm just rambling now. No, no, we can get back totally to fine. Uh, next song is also a, a from the same scene. I see, I've seen this album off of every hippie art shop I've gone into, and I, I guess I had to pick it up. <laughs> um, it's not bad. This is a uh, Tubby Love with Jaw Spirit. Oh, I have seen this cover art before. <laughs> <laughs> yes, everywhere. I have. I've seen this in many, many shops. We sell like kind of the the hippie reggae. We don't gotta try so hard. We don't gotta try so hard. Let's try so hard, let your spirit take control We don't gotta look so far We don't gotta look so far, no, no We don't gotta look so far, let your spirit take control 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 Said trust is a must When you're living truth there's no you There's only us Get on the bus Headed for the great remembrance Get on the T Stay on the C Be an ally for the ones in need 
We are a family, we are a tribe Different colors, we come to unite Allowing the spirit to guide So we can finally find the truth in this heart and behind The disguise of separation This is a dedication To the liberation of all sovereign nations Never to be ruled by a fool again Let your spirit win Let your, let your spirit win But it seems we lost our memory Some of us are just now remembering The ancient wisdom hidden in the history Most of it's still missing in the mystery Now it's time for rediscovery Let it be a uncovery Still got a little bit more depth than kind of your uh, like lovers rock join. Yeah, no, that's one thing I do like about the music down in Kalapana. It's a there's a lot of lovers rock, but it's always wanted to be more spiritual and yeah, yeah. or like addressing the world problems. Yeah, well, I appreciate kind that. Of ignorant about what those are, so they, <laughs> they try. It, yeah, it it's hard for I think. A lot of those, like, kind of lower the lower Puna people to kind of they're so cut off because of like lack of infrastructure out that way Mm -hmm. that it's hard for them to keep up with like world problems. And so they can speak on spirituality, like, as well as you know, they can, but like they're always a little bit behind on like and a little misinformed, yeah, because a lot of that information is coming through like channels that are not always the most reputable. Yeah, I, I, get, I see that all the time. <laughs> well, like I said, it has more deaths than a regular Jawaiian song. And, you know, I like the Jawaiian sound. I, I, could, I could dig the Jawaiian sound. <laughs> it's just always so shallow. Like, I can step at it with my slipper and not get wet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's, that's Jawaiian sometimes. It's just like, it's just, it's very it's very fun music most of the time. It's very very surface level and really good to relax. Like people smoke to it, listen to it at a show. But uh, you know, there's something to be said about like like kind of like the the hippie spiritualism that comes in the, some of the joint, which I dig. All right, yeah, and so that's a. I think we had a pretty good discussion about Puna in general surrounding. Nako and uh, his allegations and things going on and it's, I guess I want to leave you with the one person I think should take up the mantle um, I dig him you called him once a professional a, a consummate professional Is it cosmic serenity we've heard them play a couple times oh yeah they've been on the show you know the sashimi sashimi rice Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Gaila also really likes uh, really likes uh, anime, and it gives yeah. you a cool handshake whenever you. So if anybody were to take Nako's position, I hope it's this guy. I do too, actually. Uh, this is uh, Cosmic Serenity with Stardust Medicine. Not your feeling, not 
shall breathe in Thought of them in my eyes It happens all the time One look at you when I fall in line With the rest of the fools Beating everyone else to the finish line six songs and but two of them he's are got star good. power but yeah he has he's... star power his just power on his voice oh yeah yeah like uh... like i i believe the soulful thing out of him whenever like he, he gives me that shit mm-hmm. like it, it, it's believable and it seems honest and it's not coming from like uh like any place but a like a real a real place of belief which I appreciate. And he, he's just a cool dude. Yeah. All right. And that is all for this week, month, year, millennial, whenever we get back to it, microsecond. You know, time is such an authoritarian concept. So we won't go by any measure of time by the time we get back here. We'll get to you when we get to you guys. Yes. We might get to you back in time. Think about it. Don't <laughs> blow up. See you last week. Oh, she never back again. She never-
Chanel will call him back again Chanel will call